Oh Jesus! How did I die? What? Go to my server and yeah, let's get it. No, I'll make a video right now. So, if you're like me and you just bought a Logitech Extreme 3D Pro joystick and you wanted to play Battlefield 4 with it and you were all like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be like killing everybody. Well, you're not because it doesn't work. So, there's a number of tutorials out there that supposedly fix it and, um, they kind of work, but there were more problems, so I kind of dug a little deeper and figured out just kind of the same way as those processes worked, but just changed more values. So the problems I had on the joystick is on the throttle, when you have it in the bottom half of the throttle position, I would, in a helicopter, I would lose my control over yaw and uh, pitch, so, and it would go to my camera movement. So, to fix that, there is a file that um, Battlefield 4 creates, and it is located in Documents, Battlefield 4, Settings, and Profile, Save, or pro save no prof save underscore profile and you're gonna need to open this with notepad plus plus I'll put that in the description so you can download that and this is necessary because it organizes each row on its own row I guess and uh, in plain old notepad it's just text after text after text and impossible to find anything. So the things you are looking for in here is get key binding heli dot concept dot zoom and then for each access change that to nine 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 that is five nines and you do that with each and every contact concept zoom access there are five of them and as you can see all mine are changed no not all of them are I'm finding that battlefield is changing them on me I believe but it is working right now and then you can just save that once you change them and then you do that for your helicopters for your jets which is down here somewhere and I changed my um, accesses all that and then also for the vehicles I think I did it for the vehicles. Yep, for the vehicles. And that should fix all your problems. And if this doesn't work, just play around with it. It You should only need to play around with the concept zoom. And then just press the save, exit it. I would uh, create a backup. Just throw one on your desktop so you can replace it later if you need to and we will now go into battlefield and I will show you it working alright guys we're waiting for it to load it's taken a really long to uh, load Alright guys, I am in and let's grab a helicopter. My favorite my favorite are the little birds. And right now I am all on joystick. I have my twist on the joystick set to my um whatever you call this. And my throttle is all the way down and I have full control of the helicopter. So 
my problem was that with throttle down, I would be looking around the cabin. And I don't know what I have that set to anymore. But I have spent literally the last 24 hours pretty much non-stop trying to fix this. And I finally figured it out. So, right now, this is throttled down and I still have control over the helicopter. So, it's pretty good. And now I can fly like a boss. Oh no, it sounded bad. So, and another thing I also had was when I pulled a trigger, I think this was only in the, uh, oh, that um, when I pull the trigger, I lose control of the helicopter, and I think I still am. So I'll have to take another look at that, but that also happened in the... And the jets as well, but I fixed that. So let's respawn into a jet, and I'll show you that. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask me. Here's the jet, throttle is all the way down. and let's go in the cockpit and the problem I had here was when I put the joystick all the way to the right once I got about halfway it would look to the right instead of um, rolling and I fixed that and also when I pull the trigger it would look so I couldn't shoot while flying And I think I had more problems with the throttle itself. The throttle on this joystick will uh, just crash here and go into settings, key bindings, uh, for my jet. See, the throttle is named trigger 1 for throttle down and trigger 2 for throttle up. I don't know why, and we just ended the game. Great. But basically, you just go into your key bindings and reset everything, and you'll be all good. But this is not a quick fix, but it is totally worth it, and you absolutely need to do it. If you bought a joystick, don't get all sad and replace it. But I'll let you look at my uh, key bindings here, if you want to pause it and look at them. This is my in-vehicle. Here's my jet. And my helicopter. So, hope that helps. Please, again, if you have any questions, ask. I'll be glad to help. I'll even Skype if you need to. Um, don't listen to that kid. So I just figured out what uh, my problem was with the uh, holding down the trigger in the helicopter. Somehow it got reset so that my free look hold was pad up, which is the trigger. I really don't understand why they're named like this. But um, all I have to do is reset that. And I'll put that on a different right there button nine, and that should be good. And let's try it. Helicopter. All oh, right, I need a helicopter that has a gun. Poop. Let's go find one.
I don't have any countermeasures. Oh, shit. I landed. And I'm dead. Holy cannoli. Ah. Hey, uh... Where's that little bird? I want a little birdie. Hey. Yeah, we're good now. So, just fiddle around. Take your time. Don't get upset. Be smart. Take a C++ programming class. Even though it has nothing to do with this. And good night. Have you ever swam in a helicopter? Neither have I. Doesn't usually work.